Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this session, I shall explain the structure and types of chromosomes. Chromosomes are thread-like structures in which DNA is tightly packed within the nucleus. Each chromosome is made up of protein and a single molecule of deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is coiled around the proteins called histones which provide the structural support and this DNA protein complex is called chromatin. DNA contains the specific instructions that make each type of living creature unique and are passed from parents to offspring. At the time of cell division, chromosomes become distinct and exhibit a clear picture. Each chromosome has a constriction point called the centromere which divides the chromosome into two sections or arms. The short arm of the chromosome is labeled the P arm and the long arm labeled Q arm. The location of the centromere on each chromosome gives the chromosome its characteristic shape and can be used to help describe the location of specific genes. At the end of each chromosome is a repetitive nucleotide sequence cap called a telomere. These DNA regions serve a critical role of preserving the genomic sequence by protecting the genome from degradation and inhibiting chromosomal fusion and recombination. Chromosomes may have a secondary constriction which separates a small part of the chromosome near the ends and they are called the satellite chromosomes or sat chromosomes. Now the classification of chromosomes. Based on the position of centromere, they are classified into four types, metacentric chromosomes, submetacentric, acrocentric and telocentric chromosomes. Metacentric chromosomes, in this type centromeres lies in the center of the chromosome, so they are V shaped and two arms are equal in length. Submetacentric chromosomes, chromosomes have arms of unequal length as the centromere lies near the center. They are J shaped or L shaped. Acrocentric chromosomes, centromeres lie near one end and have a small arm beyond centromere leading to one very long and very short section. Telocentric chromosomes, they have the centromere at the very end of the chromosome. Human karyotype do not possess telocentric chromosomes, but they are found in other species such as mice. Now the next type of classification, the eukaryotic chromosomes are classified into autosomes and sex chromosomes. In a typical human karyotype, the first 22 pairs represent the autosomes, that is they have no function to deal with the sex of the individual. The last pair however determines the sex of the person. So, if the two are identical, that is both X and X, then the individual is a female and if one is X and other is Y, the individual is a male. This pair is the sex chromosomes. So, the chromosomes which help in determining the sex of an individual are called sex chromosomes or even called allosomes. So, this is all about the different types of chromosomes. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you.